Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And today's topic is about understanding in equal to data set option in a merge statement. I will be using these two data sets have one and have two for explaining this topic. So let's quickly look into this example. In have one, I have two variables ID and name. In have two, I have again two variables id and age and in here id is the common variable between both these data sets. Now let us talk about merge statement itself. Merge statement what it does is it combines observations from the data sets mentioned in merge statement based off variable slash variables mentioned in the by statement. Let's try to understand this through an example in here. Here we have a merge statement and we have two data sets in here. We are going to combine observations from both the data sets on the basis of this particular by variable that is ID. And before going into this, let's quickly discuss a couple of more details. Whenever we want to do a merge, we always need to prox sort these two data sets also, which are going to be merged. And the syntax of proc sort is something like this, wherein I say proc sort data equal to have one and then by id and run statement. And the data here is already sorted, so I am not sorting have one or have two. And in the merge, I want you to understand that how that happens. In here, I have have one data set and I have have two data set. In the have data set, I have two observations and in have two, I have two observations and whenever there is a match with the id variable, what will happen is it will give our output as follows. That is id, we will have one name from here and age from here because ids are there in the both the data sets. Now something quick to understand here. Whenever there are two same variables in a merge, what will happen is second one overrides the first one. Now that is why we see only one id variable. Now coming back to second observation, in here I have two sam in have one. There is no match for this by variable. So we see two sam and the missing value for the age. Now coming back to have to, again I have id as 3 and age as 40. So now the id becomes 3 and age becomes 40. There is nothing from name so it goes missing. One important point to remember is whenever you have id here or here, it comes as a single variable id. And whenever you have id in two data sets, the second one overrides the first one. Now let us quickly run and see our results. Before doing that, we also need to create our data sets. Let's quickly do that and then run our merge statements. Now we have created our two data sets. Now quickly run our merge statements followed by proc print. And here you can see that the results are exactly same. Now that we have a quick understanding of what is a merge statement and what happens in the merge statement, now let us go to the core of the topic that is in equal to data set option. So what does in equal to data set option do? It does one thing that is whether a by variable from particular data set in a merge statement has contributed to an observation and it does that with the help of boolean value. How it does all of this is by creating a temporary variable. Now to understand these two statements what I have just said, let's quickly look into this code in here where I am saying data underscore null underscore and then I have merge and I have have one I am saying in equal to a that is I am giving in equal to data set option and I am saying it is equal to a. This creates a variable a and as I said this is a temporary variable. And for have to I have data set option in equal to b. This creates a variable b. Now let us quickly run this code. Before running into this code I would like to tell one thing. Here I am not creating any data set in here but what I am doing 
is I am doing put a equal to b equal to id equal to name equal to age equal to. What it does is put the variable values into the log. Now let us quickly run this and look into our log. In the log we can see that we have the values for the variables. Again the variable a and b are temporary variables. They are never written to the data set. Now what I have done is I have copied this and pasted in here for much more clarity. If you look into variable a and b it either has a value of 1 or 0. So this 1 and 0 logic helps us to understand whether by variable contributes to that particular observation or not. Now here we have value of a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 for our id equal to 1. This indicates that both have 1 and have 2 has id equal to 1. And if we look into the next observation we have a equal to 1 and b equal to 0. This indicates that this id equal to 2 is there in have 1 data set but it is not there in have 2 data set. And in the case of third observation a equal to 0 this indicates that have 1 does not have id variable but have 2 as id variable 3. So this 1 and 0 logic helps us to understand whether by variable contributes to that particular observation or not. Now by using all of this logic we can do lots and lots of different things. Now here if we look into our merge result we had something like this. We had 1, 2, 3 and then we had some missing values. If I want this particular observation where id1 is there in both the data set all I can simply do is I can write after my code if a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 and this gives us a very specific result wherein we see this observation only where a equal to 1 and b equal to 1. Now let us quickly run this code and also do a proc print. Now in the result we can see that we have only one observation and this result is what we expect. Now we don't have to write if a equal to 1 and b equal to 1. We can simplify the code just to say if a and b. As I said to you, 1 means true, 0 means false and if a and b means I want both of these conditions to be true or equal to 1. So I just need to mention if a and b and this is going to give me the same result. Now let us quickly run this code and see our result and in the result you can see that it is same as what I have shown you previously. Here we have just discussed a very simple scenarios but we can discuss many many more scenarios. Now what I can do is I can ask more interesting questions. For example here I want all the observations from have one and whatever is matching with the have to I am fine by it but I want all the observations from have one. Now to do that all I need to do is I need to say if a equal to 1 or simply if a. So if a equal to 1 or simply a means it will pick up these two observations. Now let us quickly run this and see our result. And in the result you can see that we have 1 and 2 as ids because both the ids are there in have one data set and whatever has matched from have to that is the age value we have in here. So if a equal to 1 or if a gives all the information from a. Now if I want all the information from have to data set all I need to do is I need to write if b and then what it does is it picks up this observation where b is there and this observation where b is there. Now let us quickly run this and see our result. In the result you can see that we have id 1 and 3 because they are there in have 2 data set and the information from have 1 is also there when there was a match. When there is no match it has a missing value. So 
in this way we were able to pick up the values exclusively from a or exclusively from b when i say a and b i mean have one data set and have two data set this kind of thing gives us flexibility depending upon our business requirement what kind of data we want to show now we can go even more deeper and we can do more things till now we have seen that we have written either if a equal to 1 b equal to 1 we can do much more now if we are interested in observation where there is no by variable in have one that is this particular observation where the by variable is not there so we can simply mention if a equal to 0 or we can simply say that if not a here not indicates that the condition is false that is zero and now let us quickly run this code and see our result and i am also doing a proc print here you can see observation with id 3 this is the only observation which is not there in now if you want to do or find the record which is not there in have to i can simply do if b equal to 0 or if not b and now let us quickly run this and here you can see the result and this result is as we expected id 2 is not there in have to data set now i am interested in those records where a is 0 or b is 0 means i want those observations where id is not participating in have one or in have to so either of them i want so i can write if not a or not b this will give me a equal to 0 for not a and b equal to 0 for not b as we have mentioned or we will have both of these rows where a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 now let us quickly run this and see our result and the result is exactly what we have discussed initially now let us discuss couple of other scenarios related to the same now here i am interested in something very different that is i want id which should be in have one but the id should not be there in have to to do this all we need to do is we need to write if a and not b that is if a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 that gives this particular observation now let us quickly run this and see our result the result is exactly as we have expected now i want something which is opposite to the previously what i have discussed in here the by id variable should not be there in have one data set and should be there in have two data set that is this particular observation where the id is not there in have one but it is there in have two to do that i can simply write if a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 or i can simply say if not a and b i want both the conditions to be satisfied now let us quickly run this and see our result and in the result you can see that it is exactly what we have discussed now i want to wrap up this whole of this topic by understanding in equal to data set option and how it creates temporary variables and with the values of those temporary variables we can do lot of different analysis whether a particular by variable is there in one data set and not in another data set and this kind of information is very helpful especially if you want to compare two data sets which have common by variables and then we can write our code for different kind of scenarios and we can solve different business problems that's all for this topic if you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you